Hey everybody, call me Felix. And today on Lololito's Pinoy Kitchen, we will be making tortang talong, or otherwise known as eggplant omelet. It's a very simple recipe, only eggplant, egg, and a couple other accoutrements. But as like a lot of egg dishes, it, the execution of the dish can be really tricky. So dad will show you the steps of how to make a really good eggplant omelet. And a couple of notes before we begin. Uh, number one, we are not going to use any ground pork or ground beef or any ground meat. And secondly, we will be boiling our eggplant. Now, both of us prefer the eggplant to be roasted over open flame, but because our range does not have any feature that can uh, grill the eggplant safely, we will be boiling it instead. Now, as far as the t flavor and the texture are concerned, it does make quite a difference, but we'll make do with boiling the eggplant and you can make do with it at home as well if you don't have the means to uh, grill over open flame. Now this is the tricky part. So once you've boiled the eggplant or uh, roasted the eggplant, either or, you have to take away the, strip the skin off the eggplant. Um, one note here is, we said it was 30 minutes to boil it. We, you, we, it only took 20 minutes because what you did, what we did was turn up the heat because these are relatively young eggplant. So you don't want them to boil too much because they will turn into mush. And you don't want that. You want to have it stay firm, especially once you've, um, especially if you're boiling the eggplant rather than roasting it. Yeah. Okay. You still want it to have a nice firmness so it doesn't fall apart when you put it on your skillet to fry. There, okay, so this is a really important step. So once you... You strip it. Yeah. So this, again, um, what I've heard with some people when they make tortang talong, they'll say, well, why is it that my eggplant's kind of too concentrated? One part of the step, one big part, is that you want it to fan out. Once you've cleaned the, stripped the skin off, cleaned it from the water, That's good. Yeah. and you're taking it all out, what you want to do is fan it like this. Yeah. You see, so that should be the result. You want to fan it out as much as you can. So then when you coat it with the egg wash, you get the nice bits, it, you know, when it fans the out. Evenness. The, yeah, exactly, and the evenness. So the texture is will be fine. Look at the thickness of the eggplant. Once it's cooked, once it's been boiled or roasted, whichever way you're doing it. Again, uh, if you can roast the eggplant, that's a lot better because again, I said that the f um, the flavor it makes a big difference. And Dad is fetching the eggs from the refrigerator, and our eggplant has been cooling here for a little bit. Dad says uh, it's not very important as far as the cooling. Although I think it does make a little bit of a difference as far as uh, allowing it not to get too moist so that it's, so you avoid getting soggy. You want to, and then of course once you're done, you know, coating the eggplant with the egg. Uh, or for you British people, aubergine, let's use a French term. Um, you can you, you put it into a skillet just about that size. Yeah, I yeah. just put some salt. I wonder if salted egg would go good as far as egg plant omelets. Well, guys, if you haven't seen that episode about fried pork fats, that's this is how Dad got that. Oh, look at that! It kind of looks nasty when it congeals, but I mean, I mean, it's delicious, delicious pork fat, right? So. Although we couldn't roast our eggplant, we've kind of um, made up for it in a way that we're going to use fried pork fat. Ha! Ah, that's cooking oil. Yeah, I'm just going to let that fried pork fat melt, of course, while he's whisking the egg. Put a little bit of milk on. Dad says put a little bit of fish sauce in there. Okay, so we've put in our eggplants into the egg wash like so. Just has a lot of space, so 
There's a lot of space. Just okay. Put three. <laughs> Dad's gonna put three young eggplants in together into the skillet. Ned's testing out the temperature. He's not sure if it's uh, way too hot. I think it's ready. Okay, here we go. Here you go. Into the skillet, everyone. There you go. So, Dad, what do you do? Especially if you want to get like the burnt edges, do you just, um, it's all, you don't really do anything. It's just about the oil, right? Yeah. The temperature of the oil. Look at I don't have to hold the stem. You have to hold the stem? You stem it around. Oh, it's a very manual process. All right. So use those eggplant bulb stems to your advantage and just kind of let them swim around a little bit in that shallow lake of pork fat or cooking oil if you like. Mm-hmm. So I think when you're making for from Tamong, I think it's a little more intensive process as far as you're cooking. It's not a set and forget it sort of thing. When you're, because again, I, for me personally, I like the edges around the eggplant the best because then they augment. Um, you have a variance of texture, so you get like the nice crispy fried ends, match it with the uh, moist eggplant. I think there's a nice contrast there in both flavor and in texture. So I think the heat on this is, how would you say about it? I don't think it's on a uh, really high heat because what we did was, or I think what dad did was he just put it at higher heat just to get that oil really hot and then just um, reduce the temperature quite a bit. And as you can see, it's starting to brown after a minute or so. Those edges. Now you can see that the coating is very even. You're not seeing that the egg is too concentrated in one place. And you can see that the egg is fanned out nicely to form those edges. There you go. Is that it, Dad? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so it only takes a couple of minutes. There you go. So just to demonstrate again, back in the fryer. Now, if you roast your eggplant, you can expect your eggplant omelet, the finished product, to have more brown edges and such. Eggs kind of fanned out and ballooned on its own. Oh, those are my favorites. Let's see if you can like brown those a little more. Mmm. <laughs> that guy that look at me when I, when he flip, when he flipped it over with the bulbs. This is only taking about two to three minutes to cook. You're basically cooking at a minute and a half on each side, practically. And look. The nice brown edges there. And that's this is pretty much done. You see yeah, that's it. So it doesn't take too long to cook. And if you can, like I always say, use fried pork fat as your cooking oil. Dipping some more of that egg into the skillet. Kind of edifying the uh, Egg of the eggplant omelette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is cooked. There's the last one to go in the skillet. There you go. Dad will just douse it all, kind of ceremoniously too. Uh, 
as well. <laughs> then I think real I uh, could have used one more eggplant in there, but that's all we had. So this is gonna be an extra eggy eggplant omelette. Let's pour it. Mm -hmm. So that's the last one, the extra eggy eggplant omelette. Okay, lunch time. It's time to pick out our eggplant omelette. I always like... Dad's usually saying, what do you think is the best one, Dad? Because usually, I love the ones with like the bits here, but... Dad says, I'll just take the one that's like... Closest to you. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is... Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, might as well. Usually I like sweet chili sauce with my torta. Um, but we don't have any. So the best thing to do is just lay it on your rice like this. Like so. Nice, fluffy, warm rice. Made our eggplant omelette. Here you go. Now if you're wondering, does that fried pork fat as cooking oil make a difference? Yeah, it offsets like um, the disadvantage of boiling eggplant. I think it gets this nice sort of savory fried taste that's really like satisfying. So we got the eggy part. So there's a little more taste of egg on this on the fringe. And then this part here with a little bit of seeds. Um, Dad's really picky about his eggplant, and so what you should do at the market is to get one with the stem, like this, and it's what helped him toss the, or it's what helped him flip over the eggplant so easily in that skillet, and then make sure you get a young one. If you boil your eggplant a bit, it kind of has a boiled and peanut sort of taste. Despite the fact, of course, there's no peanuts. And then when you get closer to the seeds, that's what it is. Um, and these younger ones have smaller seeds. So this doesn't make for awkward eating. So it's why it's good to get younger eggplant. Um, and these are smaller young eggplant. Um, I remember one of the vendors here at the market were advocating for this type of eggplant, which has a kind of sweetness of its own. So you do get the nice natural sweetness from the eggplant. With the creamy texture, of course, of it being evenly distributed. It's what Dab did, of course. And mixed with that um, coating of egg, too. Which, of course, parts of it crisp up. As you can see in those edges there. That's what I want to get. See what those edges there. Once again, I think... Roasting your eggplant is the more desirable thing. And of course, if you boil eggplant, it's okay too. Um, if you roast your eggplant, you get a nice roasted taste here. This boiled one kind of tastes like boiled peanuts in a way. And if you can, use fried pork lard. That offsets any disadvantage. There. Oh. Another good uh, recipe here for tortang talong eggplant omelette. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys, especially for those who struggle to get a nice crispy or even omelette. That gives you a good idea. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps a lot. And if you have any comments, you know, feel free to leave one. And then I appreciate it if you can subscribe for more food, travel videos, and stuff that's out there as well. Signing off, and Empire Never Ended.